In sixth grade, our teachers go over and read with students touching Spirit Bear. And one of the activities that they do is a totem pole project. And here is a digital version of that product. Now, I would completely do this um, in person if at all possible, but I know sometimes we might have students or it might be a crazy year or you're tight on time. And so you might need to go this digital route. And so if that's the case, this slide deck is available for you. And you can kind of see here that the goal is they're going to pick an animal that represents their past, present, and future. And they're going to have two animals for each of those, so a total of six. Then they're going to use this handout right here to explore different animals. Um, and they're going to decide which one represents, again, those past, present, and future um, meanings and that to help them kind of decide which animal best represents them. Then they're going to create their pool in slides. Right here, students will drag and drop. So as they drag and drop their different animals to make their um, totem pole, they're gonna explain why. Now students can add their own images. However, I highly suggest that they use the ones here. After they use the ones here and do their why, then they can pick their own ones to replace it. Um, so maybe they want a different bear or something like that. They're able to do that, but they must provide the why first. Then students are gonna write a paragraph explaining that past, present, and future. So again, they're gonna write a paragraph here explaining what that means. And here's just a quick kind of example of different um, bad examples and a good example of how a student should write this out on their totem pole example. Can't wait to see what the kids create and what kind of it looks like in the end goal.